Tom ta da! We're Jenny and James, two Canadians from the opposite sides of Canada who met in Whistler in 2015. This is where our van life journey began, with our first and second camper vans before moving abroad. Having done van life in Canada and Australia, we've experienced the bitter cold, the extreme heat, and a whole lot of ups and downs. In the summer of 2020, we decided it was time to take our hobby to the next level and build camper vans full time. After building several vans, we wanted to share with you what we've learned. Subscribe and follow along in our first build series where we show you how to do everything from square one to the finishing touches. Hey everyone, I'm Jenny. Oh, I don't want to do it like that. I'm Jenny and this is James and we just bought a 2018 ProMaster and we're just about to start converting it. So, so far James has wired in the van. We're gonna install windows today and then we're gonna get it spray foamed in a few days. So we're gonna take you through um, some of what we're doing. So the first thing is just figuring out where we want the windows to go. So we've got two CR Lawrence bunker windows and my idea is having the bed widthways and then having the windows just above so that we can have a bit of a window sill, which also acts as a two to three inch um, bed extension on either side of our bed because James is tall. Okay, so here I was just trying to describe how we determined how high we wanted to make our bed, but it got a little wordy. So here's a picture I drew. Basically all we did was have me sitting down against a wall. This is a picture of me sitting on top of our bed in the van and I am 37 inches tall when sitting. So we just wanted to make sure that we're accounting for my height in the van so that I can sit up fully in bed. So now our next step is just gonna be to remove these two things here because our window's gonna go pretty much centered in the bed. So it's connected at four spots on each end here. So we're just gonna take a chisel and just hammer these spots out. And then for the parts that are sealed there, we're just gonna pry it out. bunker windows. So we just noticed that our Cyril Lawrence windows come with um, the foam on it already. So we shouldn't need any sealant or anything on them. So next we're going to draw a template. Make sure you trace the inner edge of the window because if you trace the outside, the hole is going to be too big. Next we trace the template on the wall, making sure that it was level. So we're just going to make some pilot holes around the perimeter of the hole. It's just going to help us get the jigsaw blade around the rounded corners and then we're gonna trade up for a bigger drill bit to be able to fit the jigsaw blade in to start the cuts. So when we started cutting, we made sure to cut the top, bottom, and two sides first. Then we taped it all up so we could cut the corners last. And this just prevents the metal from wobbling and warping while you're cutting. Um, -da -da. Wow, nice. <laughs> So next we'll file down all the edges before we do our dry fit. Alright, let's see it. Alright. Oh yeah! Oh nice! Buddy! Oh my Bring god, right. it looks so good. Yep, we're good. Astolium. While waiting for the paint to dry on the left side of the van, we copied all of our steps on the right side for our second window. And we also wanted to mention that you should clean up all of the little metal shavings that come off when you're cutting the holes, just because they can leave rust. So make sure you do a really thorough vacuum. All right, so off our recommendation of our friend Dylan, we're gonna do some butyl tape around the edge here, just to make sure it definitely doesn't leak once we put the window in. So we've just got our big fruit by the foot roll of butyl tape here. And I just use an X-Acto knife to cut it right down the middle. So we're gonna separate it into smaller pieces just so it fits better around the frame there. But once we screwed it all in, we started getting little bits like that kind of bubbling out. And there and there. So we're probably gonna go through eventually and we'll clean all that stuff up. So this time James has actually um, cut the T-butyl tape quite thin. And last time we started um, putting it on the outside, but this time I'm actually kind of just putting it right over the edge and that way it's not gonna like come in excess outside the window and look ugly. Um, and it's still gonna give us a really nice waterproof seal. 
So the CR Lawrence windows come with this inner bezel and that's how you secure the window to the van. Basically you put some screws in the bezel and that hugs the window against the frame of your van. So to install them you need to place the window in your hole from the outside and then have someone on the inside put that inner bezel around the window and screw it in with the screws provided. Sweet, so they're in. Yeah, I think overall, honestly, not too hard of a job. Like, pretty simple. Like, all you have to do, make a cutout, trace it around in the right spot. It's kind of scary because you're putting a hole on the side of your van, but like, logistically, it's actually quite simple. And I'm really happy with these. Like, I think they look sick. They're really clean. The tint is great. You got a screen. Less butyl tape is definitely a tip. Don't go crazy on butyl tape. Less is more. But yeah, that's it. So here you can see the windows with the finished walls, and here again with the bed in. You can see how they act as a foot and head extension. If you want to check out our full van tour, the link is in the description. So thanks for watching our video, I hope you learned from all of our mistakes and like James said, it is simpler than you think, so go for it, you can do it. So next we're going to be doing solar panels, so if you need to learn how to do that, you can watch our next video. Sure. Thanks for watching, if you have questions just feel free to put them in the comments.